Recovery efforts of the Willow Fire in Rancho San Diego continue tonight. The fire destroyed one home and the community is coming forward to help the family. News 8's Teresa Sardina spoke to the family whose home is a complete loss. The community is coming to the family's aid to help them grieve after they lost their home Wednesday night. I spoke with the daughter of Doug and Michelle Howworth, and she says even though they lost everything, all that matters is that she has her father. The Willow Fire broke out near the residential area of the 2800 block of Willow Glen Drive in Rancho San Diego near El Cajon Wednesday night. Winds shifted quickly, blowing through, destroying one home and damaging six others. The home of Doug and Michelle Howarth is gone. We're thankful for my dad. Um, he was the only one in the house when it was on fire. So the fact that he's alive is a miracle. Even the firemen told us that and that um, that's what we're just holding on to right now. Daughter Gwendolyn Pelvic of Carlsbad tells News 8 through the loss, they are a family of faith. Mom said the reason why our house went up in flames and no other house is because we're the house on the hill and God gave us this house and he chose us. He chose us today. So our burnt treasures now, you know, um, are hopefully bringing people um, to see my parents to stand. Pelvic's mother was visiting her while her father was evacuating. No time for him to grab belongings. The pictures, everything. My dad didn't even have time to grab shoes. He had the pajamas on his back and his keys and his phone in his car. Pelvic says a family friend started a GoFundMe page and the family is overwhelmed with all the community's messages, support and donations. So what I'm just asking for, you know, the bare necessities for my family, um, you can't really put money on the things like memories and pictures, you know, things that are irreplaceable. She says her parents will restore what they have built over the 30 years, the home on the hill. What the Howarths call the beacon. Gwendolyn asked me to share her request. She would like to meet the firefighter who helped her father escape from the home. And if we could help arrange that, first responders can reach out to News 8.